There's been mud on my soul. There's been anger inside me. There's still unforgiven deeds that now it's time to free. I've been trapped inside so long. Don't remember how to live. How much of life has passed me by as I slept inside my dreams. Oh yes, sip the waters too. Let them wash all over you. stars, marveling at the depth of the blue night sky, she wondered if she had ever known the woman who lived behind the dark hazel eyes, for even though she recognized fragments of herself, they did not fit together, they could not become whole, perhaps parts of her life had been nothing more than illusions masquerading as moments in time. Somebody is gazing into the mirror and the lady sees her reflection. But then something was missed. The whole life she had been someone else than what she was. And now as she looks into the mirror, she is trying to find out who she was. Perhaps the whole life was a cover-up. Whole life was an illusion. The whole life was a dream. She thought of herself as something else than what she actually was. The real person is lost. The real, the true, is lost in outside. Names, roles, masks. And then we try to find ourselves. And we don't find ourselves. And another is self-awareness. They look very similar and yet are different. Self-consciousness is associated with self-ego while self-awareness is soul consciousness. Even better better word than soul consciousness is self-awareness, Smriti. Awareness about one's own nature, one's own original nature. Self-consciousness has something to do with ego. There is an ego that surrounds you. You are made up of your face, your position, your status, your money, your looks, your clothes, your relatives. And there is a ring of ego everywhere. That's why they say that this is just the periphery where we exist and it is not our real nature. The real nature is at the center. And the journey of life is the journey to move from periphery to the center because 
wherever we are now that's not the center for sure we are moved away from our own being our own nature and we are just moving along this circumference name position service duty relationship rules regulations and everything of course that's necessary but there should be an attempt to go within again and again the more you go within yourself you come out with something in your hand the more you move towards periphery you are a loser but the journey to go within is not so easy because everything pulls at pulls us outside there are scores of temptations if you ask somebody to just sit and do nothing it's so difficult just sit for one hour and do nothing we just want to do something there is a desire to open the book though you don't want to read but you just do something there's a desire to lock the pain and then to unlock it again to lock it for no reason there's a desire to open the newspaper and to a hurried gaze but nothing to read you go on open the window and look outside you are not waiting for anybody and yet screen on screen off you want to check and recheck if somebody has remembered you everything each and everything makes us outward conscious extrovert the journey of spirituality is the journey of introversion the journey of spirituality is to move within is to go within is to explore the uncharted realms of your being the journey of spirituality is to know is to understand your own nature your own attitude your own being the journey of spirituality is the journey into the subconscious mind the deep because there are layers of the layer if you just see two persons brother and sister husband and wife two friends their relationship is not so simple it's so complex in every one relationship there are layers after layer maybe 100 layers sometimes they love each other sometimes they want to kill each other sometimes they are ready to die for each other and sometimes they are ready to take their lives there are so many layers and it's all hidden there's a love and hate relationship there's an extreme love but there is an extreme hate there's a person who wants to do everything for the other person but the other person slightly he moves up he becomes jealous so there is a jealousy and sacrifice working together so every relationship is so complex so intricate and why it has become so because of lack of self reflection because the mind is the mirror thoughts are the dust the dust have got accumulated on the mirror and the dust is of varying nature in the morning you feel so loveful in the afternoon you feel jealous of that person by evening you have developed hatred and at night you want to kill him Khalil Gibran had written a poem about a mother and her daughter they love each other too much mother loves the daughter daughter loves the mother but they both suffer from one medical issue somnambulism walking in sleep so one night mother and her daughter they are sleeping and they start walking and they reach garden and mother says to her daughter because of you i have lost my beauty because of you people don't pay attention to me you are a curse to me 
you should go away from my place i just hate you i just don't like your presence in spite of the fact that you are young now you don't assist me in my work and the daughter says you old woman first you will get out of this house i just dislike your presence my friends come and they don't love your presence i have become young and you have no plans of marrying me and by the time it's morning and they come out to their come to their consciousness and mother says oh my daughter what are you doing you will feel cold come let's move inside and daughter says oh my mother what are you doing here you are old let me take you and they start loving each other so during the dream they were hating and now they have become conscious so hatred what hidden in the subconscious mind every relationship has so many layers there is a tribe in burma and there is a unusual rule in that tribe a ruler a tribe but there are no crimes no murder no atrocities no injustices in that tribe every person is in peace and harmony what is the rule if anybody sees a dream if a man if a person a sees a dream about b that a is slapping b in dream early in the morning he will go to b and ask for forgiveness he has not done it it has happened only in the dream but there is a system of asking for forgiveness so there are no laws there is no police there is no court there yet there is no injustice and they are living in perfect harmony in dreams we see what is hidden what is deep inside that's why they focus so much on study of dreams interpretations of dream you are sleeping and every day you have one dream what is that dream you are running and you are going to the railway station and the rail and the train is gone you have missed it and you get up every time with fear so that sanskar of fear is there that makes you insecure fearful even though every time you go and reach on time but a person is working in the office but there is a fear every time that i will reach late and my boss will shout at me i'll reach late and my boss will shout at me so there is an increasing fear that fear is in the subconscious mind and every night that fear comes out as a dream so what you are dreaming is linked to your personality fear of examination fear of results fear of public insult you are giving speech and the mic is in front of you and you see so many eyes staring at you and you forget all the your mugged up matter don't remember anything you were well prepared you reversed revised it so many times in front of your friends and yet when the mic comes and the people are staring at you like this everything gone hmm a deep introspection is needed to explore the realm of subconscious in murli we often hear this song mukhda so there is a famous story about narad his mischief monger palav priya he is known as he is perhaps the first journalist on earth and he loves to see people fighting if everything is peaceful he is restless so he carries spicy news across the kingdoms of gods he will go everywhere and do something once that uh, he is a devotee of vishnu so vishnu asks him why you do all this why can't you sit quiet why you keep on doing such mischiefs all the time narada says i want to test people if i don't do this how will i know that they have faith in you it is just for you o oh lord i want to test there so now coming to the story of narada so narada thinks that i have must do tapasya and he sits in meditation goes in silence reduces his food intake and then again as usual indra 
he is insecure god most insecure the moment he sees some frail person doing tapasya some skinny sadhu so he sends his apsaras to disturb the tapasya but narada is very powerful he will not yield he is firm and when all those themselves those temptations failed narada finds yo oh, i have become controller of my desires i have become so powerful i am a great tapasvi i am no more that old bhagat who is simply chanting narayan now i am a different man so he goes and runs to the abode of brahma to announce and tell his achievements i have done this so many apsaras came and tried to tempt but i just i was unshakeable then he goes to vishnu later on he goes to shiva everyone he, he brags of his achievement i have done this i have done that these gods they sense that he has become egoistic so they have to do something some plan so while he is on his way he finds a huge kingdom and there is a husband choosing ceremony the king has a beautiful daughter narada enters because he is a rishi so they welcome him but now he is dumbstruck he dairo has stuck his heart he is enamored by the beauty of that queen and uh, that princess and he himself wants to marry so he rushes to the vishnu and says vishnu you are most handsome god so i want your beauty for some time your form because i want to win the hand of that princess vishnu says okay i will do whatever is beneficial for you go so he goes so he gets the body of deity but the face of monkey and he is standing there in swamvar and the lakshmi is coming and every all other persons are mocking at him he doesn't understand why others are mocking at me and the lakshmi doesn't choose him so he is infuriated and lakshmi says go and go and see your face and he goes and sees his face it's the face of monkey so this is how baba relates this story we have come here to become deity but at present you are carrying a monkey face and monkey face means a face which is full of vices attachment ego and the mirror and the water is the gyan so you need to see into that gyan again and again spiritual life is the life of intense self examination spiritual life is the life of intense self examination and for that self examination you need intense silence you need nature the life of a yogi is the life is a solo life of tapasya the more the more you retire within yourself you start to understand your own self your own patterns your own dreams your own hidden desires your own vasanas they are so deep they are so much hidden sometimes we can't even see we can't even reach out they are at a very very deeper layer soul searching soul searching this is known as soul searching life of spirituality is a life of soul searching soul searching means you search yourself you know you know those cid officers they make a raid so also you have to make a raid into your own soul to search when an inspector comes in the school when the examiner comes his aim is to find out faults when the examination takes place the team comes and they examine everything in the similar manner you should enter into your own soul as a cid officer as if some hidden thief some criminal 
is hiding is hiding there deep in the bushes but your aim is to crack the case so vices are thieves vices are those hidden looters the life of spiritual life is the life of intense self examination intense soul searching intense looking into the mirror and what is the way silence is the way what is the way reading writing is the way write down your thoughts have a diary and every night whatever you think just start jotting down whatever is coming in your mind so this diary writing is one of the important means ways of understanding your own self from monday to saturday every night write whatever happened throughout the day and every sunday then review what happened how was monday how was tuesday you write everything as sincerely as possible because you are not writing this to give as an article to be published in newspaper or book you are writing it for your own self you don't have to show it to anybody is it it is an intrinsically hidden thing your own thing to know oneself is the greatest thing baba has said once in avyakta mulli the moment the day when you know yourself you will know me when you know yourself fully then that day you will also know me completely so look into the mirror find peep see view review search research investigate yourself